Ucht. So. Ja, wir bauen was. Wir bauen. <lacht> Jesus Christ. <lacht> 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 oh, ist dann mir in so einem. Oh, oh. Hallo. Oh, Hallo, ich bin. Genau. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the west coast of Scotland one of its many sea lochs I love this place, I absolutely love it I've got a love-hate relationship with this truck, <laughs> I know He knows what I'm talking about Aye. I love the fishing, I love my ass fishing We certainly do not do enough of it but we're hoping the sub will yeah. cut us onto better marks, bigger rash get us out into open water and such like that but all that in good time But this morning Four o'clock alarm went off, much to Lindsay's disgust. Picked him up at five, and then we went to do my favourite bit. His favourite bit? He complains about it, he didn't, do a, he didn't dig a single bit of sand. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the last time we did this, we'd shot bought rag, would that be right? Yeah. The couple of tubs, probably cost us about 15 quid. I mean, but Alex, fair play to him. You've got to dig your own, you've got to dig your own. It's cheaper and it's better quality and you get so much more of it and you go through it quickly here. Aye, you do. Well, you we, do. Hope, we hope we're going to go through it quickly. I picked a wee tip up for a guy that we met sea trout fishing very recently and we would normally discard the broken ones because I think the broken ones, is it their juices yeah, or whatever, contaminate yeah, contaminates yeah, your, yeah. Other, your, your other worms and can cause problems with the bait and die off and such have you. But today, We've got a wee tub with all their broken bits in it. Keep them separate. And that's, that's Keep them separate what, and use that's it. That's what I'll yeah, be using. Because well uh, the smaller species, you're, um, I always do this, I always go up your memory blank. Rock Cook, Gold Sinny. Rock Cook, Gold Sinny. They're the two small ones, aren't two they? Two smallest ones, yeah. Aye. Your cork wings are quite small as well. Excuse me, I just took a big drink of juice here on bottom. But the aim, the aim. Second attempt at it, I think. We've, we've done it previously, like, Years ago, but a second Aye. attempt. I've on, never done it on Angling 360 at the Ras Grand Slam. Yes, and yeah, no, he's never done it. I've done it once. 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 One species has always let us down. It was either the rock cook. I think the last time was the cuckoo. Uh, cuckoo. Was it a cuckoo last time? Which is surprising for here because we have had them in the past. You've only ever caught a male off the boat, and that's uh, stunning. Uh, I think it's arguably, I know we say this about a lot of, uh, this is our favourite fish, and every style of fish is our favourite, every species is our favourite, we just love our fishing. But the male cuckoo rash has Amazing to be Amazing colours. the top of the list of all species, I think. In terms of colours and... Colours yeah. and, and I said earlier, no, in other videos, some of these species you would be forgiven for thinking they were caught at the barrier reef. They're stunning. I used to be a, an avid aquarist. had a lovely big six foot reef aquarium. And I'm telling you, I've said this before, some of the fish you'd pay a couple of hundred pounds for to have in your aquarium. So, but we're also going for a Grand Slam stroke aye, species. There's thing. loads of stuff in here, so we're going to aim for at least 10 or 12. A dozen, a dozen. 10 or 12 species, I think. Five of them hopefully will be ras. But the cuckoo, I think, is going to be an issue. I've got a trick up my sleeve. I've got a trick up my sleeve as well. I've just seen a sea trout come fly right out the water. <laughs> that might be species number 12, sea trout. <laughs> but this, this, this trip is in two locations, isn't it? We always end up in a wee bit yes. where we know the wee species yes. are. And this bit we're at, this mark, um, it's a death trap. <laughs> Surprise, Nene's a bad severe injury here. 
But I love it. I'm, I, I'm absolutely buzzing for the day. I, I love this trip up here. The drive up. Stunning. Absolutely amazing through Glencoe. And this place always produces, it always produces fish. Lots of them, not big. Sometimes you get some right nice big ballon rats. We've had a couple of those in the past. But the bait that Alex dug this morning, um, we did, and we have trialled various ways of prolonging the, the use of the ragworm, haven't we? We've failed <laughs> a few yeah. times. Um, but what's it called? I always get it wrong. Vermiculite. Vermiculite is probably the best way. In terms of if you've got bait left over, well, through the week, Sometimes we can nick down to a few marks local and you get a couple of others fishing for the smaller species again. So in terms of wee tip, vermiculite, and your ragworm, pop it in the fridge if your wife lets you, or your husband, and it does the trick. It does. So we'll talk through how we're going to fish it later on in the video, yep. and that, I suppose. Tactics and whatnot, and hopefully we'll catch fish. We will, yeah, we will. Right, hurry up, come on, because I want to get fishing. That was done, eh? I hope so, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first one, we'll get him safe and then we'll get a closer look at him. Well, there you go, first fish of the Grand Slam. And I think, to be brutally honest with you, as much as I love a big ballon mass, I do think these ones are the prettiest. If I was to show you that caught in the barrier reef, you know, you would believe me. But it's the west coast of Scotland and they're absolutely stunning. And the first one on the board, if I can get them, use this bucket just to help revive them, because they're getting hauled up for 20, 30 feet. But this beautiful wee thing, I'll keep it over the water actually, is a cock wing wrasse. But if we get a few of these today, you'll see the variations in colours and the ballon wrasse as well. But if you look, you can see the blues, if Alex zooms in there, the blues and the turquoises. And I think, Alex can correct me, I think the court ring wrasse has a false eye on its tail. It's even more the female fish. Is that in the female fish? Well, it's there on the male. But on the male as well, more as prominent as on the females. That's a male then? Yeah. Look at the colours in that. Again, we'll use the bucket to help revive them keep them safe while we do our thing with the cameras and mics and that. And with that said, it's going to be a bit of a challenge today. The surfaces you can see, it's probably the, some of the slipperiest surfaces we've fish on. And I'm a bit clumsy as you know, so good chance of has all got in their arse and favourites me. So he's looking quite well in there. We're going to get a photograph. So that's species number one of five. A cork wing mass. Well, as Alex has sometimes said, if you've watched these videos in order, then you've watched the tench fishing and the carp fishing videos. And I've always maintained that this species of wrasse is very much similar to the fight of that of a tench or a carp. As soon as you hook them, they use their big fins and they just head for the, the safety of their ox and the kelp. This is only a small one. I said to Alex, will we get this one on camera or will we? Wait for a bigger one. He says, no, it might be the only one we get. So with that said, species number two of the Grand Slam is a little ballon wrasse. And we'll talk through later on our, our setups and what we're using. We're using pretty much the same method, but Alex does have a a big rod on the bottom fishing. So species number two of the Grand Slam, the Ballon Rass. And what again, if we are fortunate enough to get a lot of these today, one thing you will notice is the variations in colours. Years gone by we've had fish, greens, browns, reds. Alex had a really nice one. Throw a picture up. A really nice one. It was a really tough day to get a photograph. The cameras were all soaking with the rain and that, but it was a stunning, stunning ballon wrasse. And um, we reckon maybe three pound mark, but 
There are some big balance here, and it would be nice to catch one today. But that's two of five, and I've caught them. So what's happened here is, is Alex didn't get his mic on in time, but he got a screamer of a bite. Could have been a big ballon, could have been a pollock. He's trying to let it come out, but I think it's done him. No. I'll go back to my float fishing. He tried to let it come out. Uh, you feel it that one, eh? Is it? It might come out then. This is the issues with this mark. Losing gear is inevitable. Oh, so we know as well. <laughs> Another issue with this mark is the fact that it is extremely slidy. Has he got it? I've done him as well. Oh, oh, he got it. He's got it. I'm seeing Pollock. Is that a ballon? What's oh, a nicer one? <laughs> right, we're going to get a closer look. Well, that was utter madness. Big rod there buckled over, it's done me in the weeds now, it's done me in the rocks. And then the float shot off for us, slipping and sliding and all sorts, but that is what was on the float rod. Slightly bigger, but still very small for a ballon. Another female fish. But I'm off the mark, and that's all that matters. So that poses the next question. Is it a joint effort, or are we doing it? It's competition. Oh, it's competition. It's always a competition. But it's competition first, and then a joint effort if, I, if I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> well, the fish that was a pollock that was a ballon ras turns out to be a cod and a poor cod. Species, <laughs> species hunt. <laughs> no way you got that. Patience. Exactly, I was just about to say, a bit of patience is all that is required. Save the fish, save the rig. Everyone's a winner. I'm going to get a closer look at these. Starting the rain aquarium business. <laughs> <Your mic back. laughs> I'm not going to lie, I think I was a wee bit lucky there. <laughs> <laughs> Just set the bale off, set the rod down, dealt with the wrasse, uh, and it came free. And it wasn't what we were expecting. I was expecting a big pollock on the end there. We got a little codling. Very little codling. But hey, they're all welcome. And then these little guys are just a bit of a pain in the neck. That's actually quite a nice one. <laughs> a poor cod. A lot of people just think they're small cods. Or... Yeah, but they're not, they're, they're completely different, separate, separate species. Oh, are they, eh? Poor cod. Oh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not related to cod, well, they're related, but they're not cod. They're poor cod. So, it is a wrasse grand slam, and we're after the five species of wrasse, but there's a lot more species out there. So we're aiming for 10, maybe 12 overall species. That would be a good, a good session here. We were talking about it earlier on, and I think our best here is I think it's either 10 or 11, and I'll try and remember what they are. We'll flick up a few photos, you know how Gordon likes to stick a photo up. But that's us on four, two wrasse, two types of cod, and a pollock, five actually, we got the pollock, Gordon got the pollock earlier on. Uh, we need to get another pollock to get a photograph of it so we can put that little slideshow up of all the species. But yes, we've only been here 
45 minutes, an hour maybe. And there's plenty of fish. Alex done in the kelp again. On both rods. On both rods again. Uh, leaf him to that, I think. <laughs> this is madness, absolute madness. Fish everywhere. There's fish splashing on the surface, there's terns, there's there's just everything, it's great. Again, a couple of hours and we're now on species. Can I, ask, can I fish as a tern? A tern? The terns are the birds <laughs> diving for a fish. <laughs> Smart arse. But yeah, species six. And it's another wrasse. So we've now got the three easiest wrasse species to get. The next two are going to be the challenge. But yeah, wrasse species. This is going to be a nightmare to get them in here. <laughs> wrasse species. Number three. Probably the least spectacular of them all, but still just as valuable for our little adventure. Gold Cine. That's about as big as they get. Well, they get a wee bit bigger than that, but that that's really it. There you are. Six species in total. Three of them ras. It's looking good. Right. Balan ras. And a ballon rash. Slightly different in coloration. Hope you can see that. Let me get a zoom in on it. Top one. You get that now? Then again. Then I think so. <laughs> the top one, as you can see, is slightly redder with blues and turquoises and this one is pretty much just all brown all them right close to each other you get the idea <laughs> <laughs> we'll get them back I think I've got a nicer photo with that one or what? I've got a wee snap there so. so I spoke earlier about my secret weapon for a cuckoo and it's a big rod out at distance and it's just rattled over. I think they might be in. We are. It's in deep, deep water and it's rough ground, so let's see if we can get it over this. Nothing gentle about this. Come on! Ha! <laughs> well, species! <laughs> species! That was not what I was expecting. Damn dogfish! There you go. They're never far away, are they? Good eating as well. I think we'll pop them back though. Species number seven, I think it is. Seven, yep. Number seven. I wasn't expecting that. That is my secret weapon, cuckoo rod. Fished out over kind of cleanish ground, kind of broken ground. Cuckoo sometimes like that. They're not always in amongst the kelp and the rocks, so. Obviously it's decent, decent ground for, for doggies as well. <laughs> that's the one that's the one we're looking for <laughs>
well, didn't come on my secret rod, or a secret weapon rod, but I don't care, I'll take it. This is the one that we were really worried about. This is the one that let us down last time. That is a female cuckoo wrasse. And that's wrasse species number four. This is probably, maybe joint, toughest of the species to get. The rock cook being another one that's quite, quite difficult. But we're flying, absolutely flying. That's four of the five rock cook to go. But we've got loads of time, so I think we'll just keep fishing. Just catch whatever we can. That's, is that overall species number eight? Number eight. Beautiful. <laughs> Got a wee bit excited there. That is the biggest fish of the day. But it's not as big as I thought it was. And it is a ballon, Russ. I love a ballon. I like a big ballon. That is getting there. It's not huge. Pound and three quarters, maybe two. One twice that size is what we're after. Three times that size, maybe even. Imagine. Yeah. So it's not the most colourful of fish, it's a female fish. There's still some little blue spots or light blue spots in the tail and then the, the anal fin there. Photograph! Well, I did see the big rod was still out and that it was a chance of a, a little thornback ray and we got one. When I say little, that's exactly what I mean. Stuck yourself to the bottom of this bucket. There he is. <laughs> I love them when they're that size. Look at that. Species number eight. Thornback ray in miniature. We've had some nice rays from here, not from this mark, but from this bit of water. Had them be double figures. Quite comfy here. Never getting back up, mate. <laughs> so, I was three rats to the good. I had a couple of cuckoos, a couple of balans, uh, and a couple of gold cinnies. I had yet to get a cork wing. Gordon was picking a few up on uh, smaller hooks, so that's what I did. Change my hook. First fish it is. Sparkling. Number four for me. Only the rock cook to go. As Gordon says earlier on, just look at the colours on that fish. Look at it. Stunning wee fish. Now we've struggled to get these today. I've not. You've had a couple, but we've now got three of them <laughs> in the bucket. But they are trying to battle lumps out of each other. 
they're very territorial rats, so we'll not keep them. We'll not keep them in there for too long, I don't think. Nice one. Four. Grand Slam is on the cards. Rock Cook, and we're there. That's made my day up. See, just the fact that this, we're not sure if I've caught one of these before. This could be a new species. So I'm going to act like that is, but I don't know, something's telling me I've caught one before. Now, the good thing for catching so many females today is that Ras, I mean, look at, I mean, look at that. Honestly. See that in an aquarium? With all these other... I, I just think they're absolutely stunning. Look at the mouth on it, look. I know lassies that pay thousands of pounds for lips like that. Look at the eyeliner. What? Alex, zoom in in that eye. Absolutely stunning. Now, as Alex is quite rightly reminded me, with so many females being caught, the chances of a big male all horned up, kicking about, <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty good. Now, I've fished with Alex, as you know, for about six years, and in that time of all the last fishing we've done, we've only ever had one male. I don't know if I said earlier, two, two males, two, two, that, two, that, two that day, was it? Day, yeah. Out on the boat with Bradley, on your marks. Um, throw a picture up, obviously. But it was a stunning, stunning, stunning fish. They are stunning fish. But I didn't think I was going to get one. Uh, my confidence was when he he's on four, I'm now on three. I've got ar arguably the easiest one still to get, the gold cine. But we'll get a photograph for this one. With me holding it, please, Alex. So we mentioned earlier, Balan Rass. Alex, again, has had a couple of right beauties here. I've had a few OK ones. Uh, this is my best one of the day we've got in the bucket here. But I'll show you this later on. My setup, Alex ran through his setup. Mine's is pretty much identical. But it just shows you the gamble I dropped down a hook size. I say gamble because what's happened to me in the past was I've had decent balling on and they've got some set of teeth on them and they bite through the, the fluorocarbon. So what I did last night was I made up wee short wire traces with size four hooks and getting loads of bites but no hooking. So like Alex did, I dropped down to a wee size, what would you say, a 10 or something like that, maybe there. Six or eight. Six or an eight maybe it is. And started hitting the smaller fish again. Um, obviously got that cuckoo, which, which was a bonus. But I know we've... I think he's too happy. I know we've showed you a few balance today, but this has got a slightly different... I'm feeling in case he's, his teeth get me. Yeah, bucket's a good idea. It's kind of very green in colour, this one. 
please behave. And again, if Alex zooms in in the eyes, quite similar to the cuckoo in some ways. A lot chunkier, they get a lot bigger. But the mouth, oh. it's very similar to the cuckoo in terms of the mouth. So very similar to the cuckoo. A lot heavier looking, they will, sorry, they get a lot bigger. But in terms of the mouth and the head shape, the lips, very similar. But as we say, they get a lot bigger and the big ones put up a scrap. So we'll probably fish a few more of those to try and get a big one. I got a photograph for that, Alex. Been getting wee rattles on this float. Now, last time I've left it, it's got snagged, so I'm not hanging about. Oh, it's go, Siri. Yes! Fucking dancer. Forage! <laughs> Let's get a closer look at this. It's an absolute doozy. It's farther than me. <laughs> Says to Alex earlier. I bet you this gold is the easiest one apparently to catch. The one that will let me down the day. Lo and behold, I'm gone and got it. It's like the fish version of me. Let's see the size of this thing. Look at that. I'm barely on it. I don't know what's been eating all my ragworm. That's wee culprit. Maybe not as pretty as is the one Alex got. But specimen. Gold Cine. We got a 40 and get them straight back. So the forecast was five mile an hour winds, look. But a common thing the past, I would say, a few months, forecasts have been well out. Torrential rain, it's sun splitting the sky. Five mile an hour wind, this is more like 20. But I mentioned earlier about losing some big balloons in the weak contraption that I made up. It's a good time to be an all-round angler. You've always got bits of tackle from other kind of disciplines of fishing that you can call upon. So this is actually wire trace for uh, pike fishing. That's it there. 40 pound, 0.45 millimeters, super trace by Aesox. Just a wee short hook link, crimped onto a swivel. Now, any of you watch fishing on YouTube, you probably follow the fish locker. And I was watching him ras fishing last night, and one of the tips he got, and I've tried it today, is four wee beads just above the hook. That's a size four chimu, 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 chimu hook. So now that I've got four of the required species, I'm going to go for a bigger ras, or a bigger bigger rag, bigger hook, and these beads should stop at swallowing the hook. And I'm going to try some mackerel strips and get a couple of big pollock, which will kind of lead us into another catch and cook video that we Alex sprung on me this morning. Let me get this right now. Cullen skink, but rather than haddock, with pollock. So, big, big juicy mackerel strips always work well for the pollock. We did get one straight off the bat this morning with a rag, so fishing the bigger rag, bigger hook, stronger setup. Could also pick up a pollock also. So, big ballon, couple of pollock, and then the two of us, I think this is the first time in history, the two of us both require a rock cook to complete the Grand Slam. So, we'll pad it. <laughs>
This is getting wild. That wind is far stronger than forecast and it's just wet and it's slippy and it's, it's tough going. That is tough going. Uh, but we're still catching fish. It quietened off for a wee bit there. Uh, and then both of us get bites. And again, it's not a huge fish, but it is. Again, another completely different colour. Kind of ready brown, this one. One of the better ones of today. We just can't seem to find any of the, the bigger fish. They'll be there, they will be there, but they're avoiding us. But it's getting a bit miserable and it's a bit wild, so we both only have a rock cook to get the Grand Slam, both of us, for the first time ever together. So I think they may be to give us another 20 minutes. See if we can pick up some bigger balance. If not, pack up, get a drop shot gear. Uh, and head over to the, the slipway over there somewhere. That went pretty well, didn't it? Plenty of fish, plenty of wrasse, four species of the five. And we got the cuckoo, more importantly. The cuckoo is usually the one that trips us up. Well, I say that, it's not usually the one that trips us up. Usually, the one that trips us up is a rock cook. And that's the only one we've got left to catch today. Uh, last time we attempted this wrasse grand slam, it was the cuckoo that we didn't get. And we got millions of rock cook. Unbelievably, we've got about 12 in about 30 minutes. It's going to be the other way around today, isn't it? It's going to be the rock cook that trips us up. But we're at the mark, little slipway, and we're just going to drop shot gear. Nice little light rods. A little lightweight, a tiny size 16 hook. These rock cooks have got tiny little mouths. They're known as small mouth wrasse. And that's it, all we need is a rock cook each, and we've both got the Rask Grand Slam. Gordon's got his drop shot rod with him and I think he's more excited about this than he was the rest of the day. So let's let's go on with it and see if we can get number five. My annoying you yet. Aye, take forever. <laughs> <laughs> right, the tiniest, tiniest bit of rag. Size 16 hook. Who gets the first rock cook? Uh, this is getting serious now. Right, on three. Not one, two, three, go. Just one, two, three. Somebody's right. getting competitive. Right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on. One fish. Oh, you got a bite? Aye. 
<laughs> oh no, it's a move with my right now, it's no. Come on. Oh, oh. No. Oh, hey. <laughs> This is intense. Oh, it's only a big one. You know all I can think about right now? What? Did I press record? <laughs> Shit, when you're looking at them. Oh. I did. Two drops, two bites. They fish. So we're on nine species. Yeah, aye. So this will give us the, the Grand Slam and species number 10. So let's go through the species while we wait. Grass, Ballon Rass. Yep. Cuckoo Rass. Top Wing Rass. Gold Sunny Rass. So that's four species. We also got cod, pollock, dogfish, I knew there was no way he was remembering all those. Thorn back way. Yep. Genuinely can't kind of remember. Poor cod. I said poor cod. Did you? I don't think you did. Poor cod. 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 Pollock. Dog fishing ray. Oh, maybe I didn't. <laughs> so, what can we expect to get here other than rock cook? Loads of wee stuff. We've had. What we had before. So we've had gold sunnies. Sea scorpions, gold sunnies, codlings. Codling, for, for Ballon. Ballons, Pollock. You'd expect there to be. Sea scorpion. Gobies and oh, and what not. What is it not, Alex? Scorpion fish. It is not a scorpion fish. It's a sea <laughs> that scorpion. Says nothing. This is going to be trickier than we thought, I think. It's that wind. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's hell? not a rock cook. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ballon. <laughs> We've had some Ow. of those. <sighs> Whatever's down there must be tiny. Ow. 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 Size 16 hook and it can't get out of his mouth. Please don't damage my rig. 
just be like the thing, the car rock cut and your link, your hook link feels, your the ballon rash damage the snot. That was just moving that to the other side. I was sitting on top of the big concrete thing that's holding that down. Bites that took me into the weed. You could literally come down here with one ragworm, couldn't you? <laughs> And have all the fun. I'm literally using my perch setup. <laughs> the only difference is the size of the hook. <laughs> Grand slam. <laughs> it's not a wee one, but I'll take it. Hey, let's get a wee close up. Get me in the bucket. <laughs> Look at the colours in that, man. <laughs> that was easy. What is not going to be easy is getting out of this bucket, however. There we go. Ras species number five. Look at the colours on that. Rock cook. Male rock cook. Again, if I pull that out of the barrier reef, she'd be amazed. This is the west coast of Scotland. Just look at the colours on that. I think that's incredible. They're stunning, absolutely stunning little fish. Right, I want one. There you go. Easy peasy, Rask Grand Slam. Thick. I can guarantee you, if you turn that camera off, and I drop this down, I'll catch one. Bites have dried up. Getting bites up. <laughs> yes! That is a rock cook on my hook. That rhymed, didn't it? 
I got a closer look. There we go. The rock cook completes my first ever Grand Slam. I would like a nice photo of that to go with the other four that I've got, please. So with the rain, the phones, the cameras, the mics, everything's all soaked. We can't I trust using the tripod to do our outro because the rain keeps doing things to the phones. The screens are getting wet, etc, etc. So, Alex has asked me to do the outro. But I'm going to do it. Dropping in one last bit of rag on the drop shot. I'm going to try and end in a fish. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as the the rock cook did. But there's been some no bad balling rats down here. We missed one on camera earlier and <laughs> Alex nearly got his rod ripped in. So this might just prove a point that the fish know when the camera's on them. But we hope you've enjoyed this. Video, I know it's something slightly different to what we normally do. The Grand Slam, and we've only ever done it once before and we failed. Done it before, Alex has done it before. But to get it done on camera for my first time, I'm well chuffed. Stunning, stunning fish. Good, simple, fun fishing, it's brilliant. And I'm leaving getting a bite now. Come on. Seen what we think was a conger eel swimming by as well. So Alex is giving it the old, let's get in and do a conger session. But just give us a fish to finish, please. How long are you giving me, Alex? Oh, 15 seconds. He's telling me 15 seconds. <laughs> Bites. Bites. Bites good. I'm getting bites, look. <laughs> no, nah, not to be. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Hit the like button, make a wee comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already done so, share, all that kind of jargon. See you in the next one. As soon as you hit stop, I'm going to get a fish. <laughs>